Welcome back to JSA TV Live, the streaming network for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakitis, coming to you live from the Data Cloud USA floor, and joining me today is John Yembo, Senior Director of Infrastructure for Telegeography. John, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks so much, good to be here. Yeah, so so much going on here live at Data Cloud USA, and it seems to be that the message here is sustainability, and as you can see, we are bringing the greener data movement here to Data Cloud. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been hearing? Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about the broader themes of sustainability, and um, we have a, a very complicated little period of time, I think, to, to work through in the industry and really in the economy, the global economy at large. And so there's been a lot of good soul searching, I think, about the best way to move forward, both in the short term and in the long term. Yes, absolutely. And what are you observing as some of the biggest hurdles that data center operators are facing today when it comes to the critical topic of sustainability? The absolute biggest hurdle right now is energy availability, uh, underlying generation of power, and uh, especially in Europe. So with, uh, with the continuing war in Ukraine, um, the availability of uh, natural gas is the biggest issue, and that's affecting uh, the global wholesale energy markets uh, significantly. And that passes on to the data center operators and then to end consumers as well. So while we're talking about these, the, the longer term efforts towards sustainability, which are also very critical, and in another sense, very immediate, because so many regulators are, are pushing uh, some for the very first time on the level that they're doing right now to, 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 to pursue better initiatives in the long term. The, the, the countervailing issue is that in the short term, everyone just needs power. It's almost like we're in a power pandemic, which was something that I discussed earlier here at Data that. Cloud. Mm -hmm. Yes, on a very important critical panel. Um, so give us a little bit of insight into what else you're hearing at the Data Cloud USA floor and some of the conference sessions. Some great conversations are happening. What are some other messages that you've been hearing today? Well, I think the broader conversations about sustainability have been really good, uh, very substantive. And we're talking about everything from what's going on within the data center, the types of servers being used, to how power is stored, uh, to how it's generated, and to the kinds, of, uh, the kinds of cooperative arrangements could be made with other sectors in order to utilize energy and waste energy better. So that, those, those are the kinds of things that I'm, I'm hearing a lot of good positive ideas on. So it, when it comes to implementation, that's going to be the question, especially in the short term. And where can viewers go to learn more about telegeography? Well, you could go to our website, telegeography.com. Uh, we do uh, extensive research on global uh, capacity uh, development and uh, pricing trends in the market. Um, we also have a couple of free resources that you, your, viewers might find interesting. interesting. We have the submarinecablemap.com where we track all of the major subsea cable projects globally. And we run the website internetexchangemap.com as well. So I encourage you all to look at that. Help us get better data if you can and continue to give us good sourcing information so we can keep that as, as authoritative as possible. What's the latest on subsea? Well, the latest on subsea continues to be this long-term shift towards content developer, content networks, the hyperscalers themselves driving network development. Uh, as recently as 2010, 80% of subsea development was driven by investment from carriers. Now that's almost completely flipped. Is there anything else you'd like to add today, John? Well, I guess uh, on a separate note, um, it's it's been fascinating to, in the middle of all of this kind of turbulence in the short term uh, to see the incredible opportunities that are being generated at the same time. Um, and what we're, what we're seeing in the midst of all this is a greater distribution of network resources. And so some of the negative things have been a good impetus to develop elsewhere. And we're seeing that throughout Southeast Asia, the Middle East, uh, Latin America, other parts of Europe, and all over the planet. So there's a lot of opportunity in the midst of, uh, in the midst of short term uncertainty. A light at the end of the tunnel almost like. Yeah, absolutely, no doubt. 
Well, thank you again, John, for joining us on JSA TV. And I'm Buffy Harakitis. Thanks for joining and stay tuned for another fabulous episode of JSA TV Live from Data Cloud USA. Happy networking!